childish dad all alone with his children. So I guess when the kids wake up, I will tell them the news about their mom. Good morning, mom. Um, dad, you recuperated from the knockout. And where's mom? I hate to tell you this, Brian. She left and is going to stay with Auntie Carol for a while. I shaved her hair off, making her bald to get back at her for knocking me out, and she told me that she looks stupid being bald, and I told her that's because she is stupid, because she is always a Karen to me, and then she had enough of me and stormed out of the house. Oh my god. You must have really done it that time. But all I wanted was to go to Ryan Forest Cafe yesterday for dinner, but mom wanted to be a Karen to me and said no. Wrong. The reason why mom said no was because it was too far away. And then you started to act like a big baby. You seriously need to act your age, dad. Your childish behavior is getting old now. Good morning, mom. Emma, mom is not here. She left. She went to go stay with Auntie Carol for a while. Mom left to take a break from dad. If we were up before her, maybe she would have taken us too. Yes, Emma. That is true. I shaved her hair off while she was sleeping to get back at her for knocking me out yesterday, and when she woke up in the morning, she looked at herself in the mirror and saw herself bald. She called me up to ask me if I shaved her hair off while she was sleeping, and I was honest and said yes. She then yelled at me for that and told me that she looks stupid being bald. And then I told her that's because she is stupid since she is always a Karen to me. She then had enough of me and stormed out of the house. Wow. Just wow. Yeah, very sad, isn't it? So anyways, let's go downstairs and have some breakfast. The most important meal of the day, serving it up, Brian and Emma's way. There you go kids. Now I am going to get a pack of brown sugar cinnamon pop tarts for myself. Okay, now that I put the kids on the bus for them to go to school, I will now watch Fireman Sam on Netflix. Hi kids, how was school today? Good. Good. Cool. Hey, let me ask you both something. How would you both like to go to Fuddickers for dinner tonight? We'll take a public bus there and back. Oh my god, yes, I love Fuddruckers. Me too. Alright. Sounds like a plan. Can't wait. But however dad, if you dare act childish or misbehave at Fuddruckers, we will regret going on this trip to Fuddruckers with you. Yeah dad, so if you don't get your way, don't you dare have a temper tantrum like a three year old. So we'll leave in about an hour or so. In the meantime, why don't you two do your homework? Sure. I have math homework today. And I have social studies homework today. Alright, while the kids are doing their homework, I am going to go upstairs to the bedroom and go on my laptop and play Barney games or online. Kids, how are we doing on homework? As a matter of fact, Dad, we just got done. Okay, cool. Lend me your papers so I can check them. Alright, here we are at the bus stop. Now let's wait for the bus. Oh, come on bus, come on bus, please come. War oh no. Dad's already acting childish. Yeah, he needs to stop it and sit right back down and wait patiently. <coughs> um, Dad, you can stop now. The bus is here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yay, Fuddrickers, here we are. Oh, my fucking god. 
but Rickers is permanently closed. Well, Dad, that's what the sign says. It's permanently closed. But why? Why, 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 why? Well, Dad, perhaps they did not have enough money to remain open because of underperformance. How the fuck does a restaurant that has the world's greatest hamburgers go out of business? How? Why? Dad, knock this off right now. Fudruckers is permanently closed, and there is nothing any of us can do about it. How about we walk across the street to Smashburger? No, I hate Smashburger. I want to go to Fudruckers, and that's what the fuck I want. Dad, cut it out. Please accept the fact that Fudruckers is permanently closed. Oh, I have a better idea. I am going to call the headquarters of Fudruckers to complain about this. Hello. Is this the headquarters of Fudruckers? Yes, hi, I am in front of the Fudruckers on Dixwell Avenue in Vian City, and there are signs on the doors that it is permanently closed. Well, can you reopen this location? Why not? I don't give a fuck about it not making enough money and its poor performance. Just reopen the goddamn restaurant. Well, you know what? If you're not going to reopen the Vian City Fuddrickers, which is my only local Fuddrickers, I am going to travel to the Fuddrickers headquarters and murder you all. You know what? That's it. I'm traveling to the headquarters to murder you all. Call your loved ones to tell them goodbye. Oh my fucking god dad. Why the fuck did you do that? Brian, no swearing. You are too young to swear. And I did that because they would not reopen the restaurant. So we are going to get on a bus and I will walk you two back home, and I am going to take a train to Houston and then head to the Fudkers headquarters, go inside, and strangle everybody to death. Now let's go. Excuse me, sir. I was giving somebody a ticket for parking in a handicapped parking spot without a permit and I overheard you threatening to kill the people at the Fudruckers headquarters. You are now under arrest. Put your hands behind your back now. Why? But what about my kids? I'll call another officer to take care of them. 